Hello Poppets. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to be showing you how to make a camera data and I guess save it because you're probably going to want to save it. So I already have everything all uh, loaded up because you're going to want to have a model and you're probably going to have a motion data of some sort. But for today, I am not going to be doing that. I am just going to show you how to make the data. So, what you're first going to want to do is you're going to look right here where it says camera, and you're going to register what you already have. If you want to mess with the light, go ahead and register that now. Same with all the other stuff. Go ahead and register all that now. Uh, don't mess with over here. It's for models specifically. So. What you can do is you can go, say you just want to zoom in, so I usually go a few frames forward, usually about 15 for simple zoom in, and I zoom in, position it where I want it to zoom in on said model. So let's say I want to zoom in on her here, then I'll go to, then I'll register that, and if I play it, it'll zoom in on her. Now, if that's a little too fast for you, you can always go a few over, click down on this, and you can drag it. And so, there's that, where it's going a little bit slower. So that's a simple zoom in. If you want to... Okay, so say you have another model and you want to go into that model, you can go here, register what you have, and then go to only one frame over. Zoom out on that model, and you will register that again. And if you play it, it instantly zooms you out without any zooming motion. So then with that, what you can do is you can also turn your camera around. So, say from here you want to turn this way and get a side view of the model. So, there you go. And you just register that if you play it. It'll go around like that. You can also do full circles around your model and Usually what you gotta do is you gotta do different little frames, but never unless you want to get a full, complete zoom in and out without the actual zoom. Always go at least 10 frames. That is my general rule. So, here, oh, doesn't wanna, here this zooms around her like that. Then can always do is bring around like that but if you're on the, that same frame there it's gonna just do this so there you go you can register that and then go 10 more over and then she's in the front again then you register that and then, so say after that, you want to zoom in on her face a bit. So, align it how you want it aligned, and then just zoom. And then you're going to want to register that. So, that's all it really is. It's not too complicated. So there's just a simple zoom in. And then, so what you're going to want to do when you're saving this, is you're going to want to go to the first frame. So, for me, the last frame was 86. So, you're going to want to go down here, click, put in 86 in the second one, put nothing in here, go back to the first one, you're going to range select the camera, and then if you had any lighting, just go into light and range select that, and that'll select that as well. And if you have any of this, make sure to get that. Then what you're going to want to do is go to file and then this is a motion data so save it as a motion data. 
and then just name it whatever. I'm gonna name this a tutorial cam because that's what it is. And then you're just gonna save that. And then there, it's all saved. You can create a new thing. Load in your, and then just load in your other model. I'm going to use my personal model for this. It's a bit slow. And then there she is. And always, always, always take the thickness of edge line and t put it to zero. Always. Unless you're doing some really complicated thing with them all the way out here, but... Okay, so there's my model. And then what you're going to want to do is go to your motions, find your camera, and it's in there now. And so there it is. And that is how you make and save camera data. Alright, bye guys!